This particular gear has a synchronizer blocker ring that sits on top of it. As we set the blocker ring down on the conical surface, it leaves a little bit of a gap right here. This gap can be measured with the feeler gauge. Feeler gauge would sit in here like this, and we would measure that drag. Now this one goes in nice and smooth, and therefore this one is actually too small for this measurement. In order to make this measurement, I may have to add two or more feeler gauges together. It's preferred that we don't add feeler gauges together when we make a measurement. Depending upon the accuracy of that measurement that needs to be done, occasionally we can stack two gauges together. When you stack two gauges together, you want the gauges to be next to each other, such as these two, the 22 thousandths of an inch and my 20 thousandths, are right next to each other here. And so when I put them side by side, they almost seem like one feeler gauge. So this is going to be 42 thousandths of an inch, and those two could be placed in here like this to make that measurement feel. The one thing that you don't want to do, you don't want to stack gauges that are separated. You wouldn't want to use this 22 thousandths of an inch and this 13 thousandths of an inch together, because when we lay them side by side, there's a gap in there. And even if you pinch them down like this, there's this angled portion, and that's going to create inaccuracy. Whenever you use two gauges together, you have what's known as stacked tolerances. And with stacked tolerances, there's room for error. So it's preferred not to stack them. If the amount of tolerance in your measurement is flexible enough, then a half a thousands of stacked tolerance won't probably make much of a difference, especially if you're not at the far end of the specification.